When I first moved to Nashville, I was told many times that the way I was behaving was not ladylike, and I had no idea what they meant. The last time I brushed my hair, I actually didn't brush it. The person who does my hair and makeup, she brushed my hair. But before she brushed it, um, it had been at least like two days, I think. I normally don't brush my hair ever. Um, Cause I like the texture, it looks cool. It looks like beach wave sexy, you know? But I should probably brush it more because sometimes when you don't, you get like that one dreadlock that starts to form and you're like, who am I? I don't know. So one of the lines in the song is, I don't even own a dress. And that is true. I don't, I really don't. And it's not on purpose because I feel like a lot of people can rock dresses and I have nothing against them on other people. For me, I just feel like a little confined in a dress. Um, and it just, for some reason, whenever I look at myself in the mirror and I'm in a dress, it just doesn't seem right. It feels like I'm playing dress up or something. So I feel like my personality uh, does not gravitate toward the dress part of the store. Uh, you can see my fingernails because they are done. That's right, I'm evolving as a human. This one's not though, this one's broken. I chewed this one, so um, I guess there's still one left. But other than that, thriving, mm -hmm. come at me. Oh, what have I done to get attention? So many things. Actually, what have I done to get attention? Um, I learned how to skateboard so that a guy would like me. He did end up liking me because I skateboarded, but very poorly, so I barely got by. My go-to tequila would be anything Blanco. Uh, it goes down so smooth and it's one of those things, uh, Mezcal is good too, but Blanco is like my, my go-to. So my parents used to be really strict about curse words. I would get grounded if I even said like, oh my God, very, very strict. I used to not curse at all because I didn't want to be grounded. But now that I am living as a free woman, my parents don't really care. Actually, my parents have actually started to curse a little bit, so I feel like I've been a great influence on them. So the line saying lipstick in a cigarette pack on the dash, that is a true, true story. Uh, I went through a brief smoking phase. It was in New York City, like I wanted to look cool, and I did look really cool for a moment, but then I realized, oh, I can't work out and smoke at the same time, that does not go together. But on my way to an event in New York City, I wasn't a big purse person at the time, I just liked carrying my wallet, and so there wasn't a lot of room left in there, so I put my lipstick that I was wearing in the cigarette pack to save space in my wallet, and it was, it was great. Lipstick in a cigarette pack on the dash I'm a lady like that I'm a lady like that